Well, 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 what do we have over here? Um. Looks like a radiator. Yeah. So we're just, we're just marking it up where we're gonna drill, and then we're gonna mount it up to this bottom stud right here. Check her out. Uh, Pretty close? Yeah, that... but the holes I drilled are too small. Oh, this is it. This is the one. Son, look at that. Got the nutties. Dude, that looks dope. Got the nut boys. That looks real good. Um, the nuts. The nuts. The yeah, nuts. those are... I put them somewhere. Alright, so we're a little bit farther now. Tell them what you've done, Jeremy. We put the intercooler on. Yes, yes we have. And you make new brackets. We got into a bit of a fight trying to balance things to get the intercooler. Yes, I bet him. On there, but um, liked it. with my guidance, I found the. Oh gosh. I found the right amount of things to stack to make sure the intercooler. They're not even holding it up. <laughs> but it's looking like a real car. We got all these hot things stacked together. This should generate a ton of heat and keep my car hotter than it was before. And he'll success. cry. And now the, the crying starts. Looks cool. Pretty quality stuff. Yeah. What do you rate it, Jeremy? It's pretty good. It's a neat design. Jeremy has a problem giving good designs credit that aren't his. Hey, man. <laughs> the, view, the viewers will understand. I'm a passionate Well, this concludes another episode of me not filming anything while Jeremy makes everything. I mean, this is only the first I part. I know. I didn't realize that it, like, we were actually going to have a finished product. I thought we were just like... Wait. You're, what, you're, what's finished here? You were measuring... You something? You were measuring things. There was cardboard, and then before I know it, it's like... There cardboard? Was, there was cardboard? Before I know it. I just freehand. Damn, look at them dimes. Those are shit, dude. I, I welded that as fast as I could so we could get back here. It'd be nice if this was in my garage yeah. where I could just take my time. Yeah, that's true. Now we have this two minute travel time between shops. Just open up your hangar. It is open. It's like uh, there. But you don't have your shop there. So move it there. And my car don't drive. Jeremy fabbed this up here. And then what's your plan? What are we gonna do? We're gonna... There's plans involved? We're gonna um, somehow tie it into the oil cooler maybe? Yeah, so we're gonna move the oil cooler here where it's very susceptible to being hit. And now we'll probably curl some brackets down here and I'll make some brackets up to here. Mm -hmm. And then this will get water to that. And this will get water to that. That'll be that. Okay. What you gonna do? I'm gonna drill these holes here. Bang, bang. Mm -hmm. Then this can be watered here, here, around, and 
and that will be very sturdy. It seems very robust. And this will be welded here. If it was me, I honestly would have just... Just hung it by the air cooler piping. Yes. But this way, it will stay there, no matter what. Then you won't work... You won't, like, rip these boots. Hmm. So if this thing just slowed around, those boots would eventually tear. I didn't think about that. Yeah. That's a good point. So now the bumper can slide, would slide on. And then we can mount the oil cooler here. I'll mm -hmm. just make two drop tabs that come down. Mm -hmm. Mount up high, same similar to level. That look good. And drop it down lower. Mm-hmm. You know, something like that, maybe. 